So today we're going to show you how to change a conveyor belt on a DM1100C. And the first thing that you should do is remove the belts and drive the belt carriage all the way up and then drive the table down somewhere into a medium position or lower position. I brought it down to 40 millimeters. And we have the carriage sitting at, hard to see here, about 115 millimeters. But that is not super critical as long as it's both out of the way. That is step number one. You empty the dirt, of course. Leave that over to the side. Step number three is to remove the covers both front and back. In the back, you only have three screws to remove on the right. One, two, three. And three, three sc screws on the left. Once you have the screws removed, we remove the cover, which is easier to do with two bolts. We only have two screws on the left and two screws on the right. And then that cover pulls out straight to the front. Step number four is to remove the little side brackets, both front and back, held with two M6 screws. Oops, sorry. Which is a 10 millimeter wrench. Then the next thing is we are marking where the table goes onto the cross belt and, Up and down too. we are marking where it is in both directions. And we do that on all four corners. This helps you tremendously afterwards by finding the screw holes again um, on the cross supports. Then the next thing we are doing is we are loosening the conveyor belt already up so that it is nice that we can, once we take it out, we can get a fork underneath the conveyor, between the conveyor and the table from the bottom to pull the conveyor off to the side. Then you disconnect the Harding plug on the motor and at this point the table is ready to move backwards. Once you have it on the table, brush behind, you can block it up so that you can put a fork between the table and the conveyor belt. But before we do that, we look at a few other things. 
when you change the conveyor belt, you should also change the side blocks, which prevent um, the conveyor itself from being brushed on the edge. That's kind of like a protectant. So with a conveyor belt change, you should always put a new um, wear block onto the side of the frame. You have one on the incoming side for each belt. So here and here. If the screws with the small allens, um, sometimes they are difficult to get out and you destroy them and take them out, you can put regular allen heads in there as well. They do not touch the, brush, the brushes left and right, they clear on the inside. Then we open the bracket for the brush holder so that the conveyor can slip by there. The next thing is to take on the same side where we opened the, the brush is to take the bracket off the front conveyor roller and that gives us plenty of clearance for the conveyor to come off. <clears throat> the next thing is going to be to block the table up so that we can get a fork underneath it and the fork needs to go between the bottom the bottom of the conveyor if you want to save the conveyor I mean you can always if you have an old worn conveyor you can always cut it off but the fork needs to go in between the conveyor and the table If you use a little bit of WD-40 and you grease the drive roller and the table, wipe that clean at the same time, but it will make the new belt go on easier. Second, Kyle. And the next step, once you have the conveyor belt back on, the bracket, and this is really a job for two people, the bracket goes back in with a roller, then we reattach the bracket for the cleaning brush. Now make sure they pay attention to, let it down, the conveyor goes over the brush through here. Through there, yeah. Right. A lot of mistakes happen there.
Pull that table up. for you is so you know you're relatively close for the screws you have a quarter each day yeah at least at least three to three to five short jokes really now the screws go back on again underneath And you keep them all loose until you have all eight of them in there. Then after all eight screws are in, you can go around and tighten each one of them. Then we re-tighten the conveyor belt. One side at a time. Back and forth. Then the covers can go back on. Doesn't matter in which order. So I like it. I like his golden hair. <laughs> You're on video. Oh. Back cover is always a little bit more difficult because it has some indentures and some protrusions that Bring it needs to go bit. over. Yeah. There you go. And you push this all the way in and three screws on the back on each side. Do not open these. They stay on. And then the drawer goes back in. And that locks with a 10 millimeter Allen wrench. The last step is you turn the machine on, you turn the conveyor on, the conveyor goes on full speed, and you make sure that it tracks nice without rubbing against any of the edges. This is a conveyor that only has a one-sided guide, so it tracks a little bit more to the right. That is perfectly normal. You just want to make sure that it doesn't rub here. And if you need to make adjustments, you have access to the 17 millimeter bolt. You tighten on the side that you turn clockwise on the side that you want the belt to go away from. 
So on this, in this case, we could tighten it just a tad more on the right side.